if we compare what we have been discussing last March and what we are di discussing today, we see substantial changes, geopolitical changes. Azerbaijan President Aliyev welcomed guests to the 11th Global Baku Forum, a bringing together of world leaders under the principles of solidarity, equality and inclusivity to exchange and find global solutions to global problems. This year's conference was held under the theme, Fixing the Fractured World. Indeed, we are living in unprecedented time. There are a lot of going on. We have political instability. We have economical disparities. We have climate change. We have health challenges. Of course, education. We have uh, social injustice. But uh, those challenges that we are facing cannot be dealt alone, individually or regionally. As we learned from the past, we have to be unified in our response. Four current and 40 former presidents and prime ministers came together over three days here in Baku to discuss the pressing issues challenging our fragmented society. While discussions recognized a shared humanity and shared futures, there were resounding calls to modernize outdated institutions and the need for global governance. We are in a situation where the world has dramatically changed over the last 70 years. And we are still living in a world with, with an architecture which has been designed a long time ago. So uh, it's always very difficult to change governance, to change the decision-making processes, particularly, you have to say, in the political arena. There were stark warnings also about the state of the global economic order. We are living in a highly dangerous financial and economic world that in some respect, with some indicators, it is even more fragile than it was immediately before the last big crisis. Reinforced prudentials, reinforced the functioning of the continental institution. Europe, of course, is a case in point. And I take it that, uh, as I said, it is later today than most, I would say, participants in the world are thinking. It is very late. Hurry up. And debt restructuring was a key issue flagged by the United Nations. All our economies are tied together. Low-income countries and middle-income countries choking in debt, unable to pay for the health of their people, for the education of their children. There's no system where you can get quick debt restructuring and get your country back on its feet. These are things that can only be solved globally and Baku Forum and other forums where leaders and governments come together in equality, point to the future and can help to reform the world economic order. With war in many parts of the world, there was a substantial dialogue discussing the idea of peace. Peace is priceless. We can do everything to increase our capabilities in order to have more secure our continent. And of course, I'm coming from a region that is very fragile. And the situation of the war in Ukraine is bringing the people there to think about more the cooperation and dialogue. We have been supporting every issues that have been related to the human values because we have to live with that. We have so many wars, asymmetrical wars, Wars that don't even have front lines that they used to be in the past. How do you solve a problem where you have armed rebels that have no front line, that hide in the population, and that don't even declare a cause that they are fighting for? How do you solve such a problem? You need the global cooperation to solve some of it. Topics such as AI technology, innovation, and global health challenges also dominated the agenda. We need resources resources for strengthening health systems, resources for education, resources for research and innovation. We need data also, we need information. What's happening, how we can monitor diseases, surveillance, all this, it's a lot to do, but if we are on it together and we've put it a priority, I think we can do it. When attempting to fix the fractured world, the resounding agreement of the Global Baku Forum was that global challenges need a global response.